Hi, I'm Ying Kai, and I'd like to share with you my work with Earl Campbell on bosonic codes uh, when they are faced with phase errors. So um, a bosonic code that we are interested in are these so-called gap bosonic codes, sometimes called rotation invariant uh, uh, codes. And they have this property that they are supported on Fox states that are gap a constant multiple of G apart. This uh, G uh, intuitively gives you the bit flip resilience of the bosonic code. The larger the G, the more bit flips it can correct. Now, the type of errors that we are interested in are these uh, Gaussian defacing errors. These Gaussian defacing errors are quite severe. Let's consider uh, a Gaussian defacing error that adds a phase error with a uh, 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 a standard deviation of sigma and a mean of zero. Can we correct these errors using approximate error correction codes? And what we show is that, well, the best binomial codes, uh, uh, well, by the, some binomial codes can achieve this type of approximation error. But we also show the blue line over here that uh, no approximate error correction code in this, uh, this GDAP family can correct, uh, uh, can have an error that's less than this blue uh, shaded region over here. And how do we show this result? First of all, we need to understand what we mean by approximate quantum error correction. By this, we mean that the, um, uh, the residue error cannot be too small, cannot be too small. And to show this result, uh, let us uh, have this important lemma. Let us suppose there exists two orthogonal states, so you know, the trace uh, uh, norm of the difference is two. And suppose furthermore, that after you have your noisy channel acting on both of them, uh, the difference of this is less than delta. Then uh, you can show using triangle inequality that C is not epsilon and A carry C when epsilon is one minus delta over two. All right, what can we do with this lemma? Next, we have another lemma over here. All right, so what should we pick row one and row two to be? Oh, we can pick them to be some pure states inside CG. And in fact, uh, the claim now we're going to make is that they always exist orthogonal pure states in this G gap uh, code space, such that this upper bound holds. All right, so um, how are we going to ensure that there exist these orthogonal pure states? We're going to pick uh, different orthog uh, orthogonal bases uh, that are, are, well, not orthogonal to each other. So we can pick the plus minus basis and the i minus i basis. So, for example, if the plus minus basis does not satisfy this inequality, then we are guaranteed that the minus i plus i basis will, and conversely. So there always will exist orthogonal pure states that satisfy this inequality. Now, since we know this inequality holds, let us combine it with the previous lemma over here. You combine it with the previous lemma over here, and then we have the main result, which is that these G-gap uh, bosonic codes are not epsilon and AQC for any uh, epsilon less than this uh, threshold of where this N is, the Gaussian defacing channel with a standard deviation of sigma and mean of zero. So this gives us our plots. So for example, if your G is one, which means any bosonic code, then you have a minimum uh, approximation error that's over here, uh, given your value of uh, standard deviation over here. And as the value of G, which is the resilience to these uh, so-called shift errors, gets larger, then your resilience against space errors gets worse. And in fact, uh, it is uh, from our theorem, we can show that um, the, if you multiply G and sigma, this thing over here must be at least this quantity over here. So this means that you can't have simultaneously uh, 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 the shift resilience to be high and the phase resilience to be high. There is a trade off. And with that, I thank you for uh, listening to my five minute flash talk. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me. Thank you for your attention.